The medicinal value and potent antimicrobial activity of honey has been a topic of considerable interest in recent years, particularly in light of the alarming rise in antibiotic resistance. While most honey comes from honey bees, other insects such as stingless bees, wasps, and even ants can produce honey-like products from plant nectar. One of these insects is the honeypot ant Camponotus inflatus, found throughout the central desert region of Australia. Researchers set out to determine whether its honey might be medically useful. Research published in Pierre J. show the honey has powerful antimicrobial effects, particularly against certain heat-tolerant yeast and molds which resist most current antifungal drugs. Honeypot ants are social ant species that develop large nests in the soil. Within these colonies, certain worker ants known as repletes serve as living food stores. The repletes are fed by other members of the colony who forage for nectar and honeydew in the environment. The repletes accumulate a golden, honey-like substance in their flexible abdomens. The repletes become so engorged with honey, they are rendered almost immobile. They hang together from the ceiling of the nest, forming a sort of ant pantry. In times of need, other worker ants visit the repletes and stroke their antennae. The repletes cough up some honey in response, and the other workers then distribute it throughout the colony. Most honeypot ants live in very dry environments. Their unusual lifestyle has been so successful, it has evolved multiple times. In Australia, Campanotus inflatus is found throughout the central desert region and holds cultural and nutritional significance to local indigenous people. There are also reports of traditional use of honeypot on honey for treating ailments like colds and sore throats and possibly as a topical ointment to help keep infections at bay, suggesting potential antimicrobial properties. To investigate further, Researchers obtained honeypot ant repletes from Goldfields Honey Ant Tools, collected and pooled the honey from the ants, and tested its ability to inhibit various pathogenic bacteria, yeast and molds. Researchers compared this to two well-studied bee honeys with antimicrobial properties. Manuka honey from New Zealand and Jara honey from Western Australia. This study revealed striking differences between the honeypot ant honey and the bee honeys. Both bee honeys showed broad activity and were able to inhibit every pathogen tested at similar levels. However, the honeypot ant honey showed remarkable potency against certain microbes, but little against others. Important factors that contribute to the antimicrobial power of bee honey are its high sugar and low water content, which sucks the water out of microbial invaders. Researchers found honeypot and honey to have a much higher moisture content than the bee honeys, however, putting it in a range that could support the growth of some microorganisms. Most bee honeys also contain enzymes that produce hydrogen peroxide, a known antimicrobial compound. However, honeypot and honey retain most of its activity even after all the hydrogen peroxide has been removed. Finally, some honeys contain antimicrobial proteins and peptides that are derived from the honeybee. These can be destroyed by heat, and when we heated the honeypot and honey to 90 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, it lost most of its antimicrobial activity. This unique antimicrobial activity is likely due to proteins or peptides, and these are probably derived from the honeypot art. In the natural environment, animals, plants, and the products they make are exposed to a huge range of microorganisms looking for their next meal. Sweet, nutritious honey is an enticing food source for these microbial scavengers and must be vigorously protected, both to prevent its spoilage and to stop invasion of the hive or nest by rapidly growing molds. Intriguingly, researchers found honeypot and honey was particularly effective against some pathogens that are considered to be quite tough. These pathogens are well adapted to living in soils and dry conditions and can also cause very serious infections in people with severely weakened immune systems. In particular, the
the ant honey was able to inhibit heat tolerant yeast and molds that are likely to be present in the honey ant nest and surrounding environment. Importantly, these can be very difficult to kill with most currently available antifungal drugs. The evolutionary pressure imposed by these soil microorganisms has resulted in the potent, selective antimicrobial activity of honeypot and honey. This study clearly supports the medicinal use of honeypot ant honey by Australian indigenous communities and provide a new understanding of the intricate relationship between honeypot ants, their environment, and the remarkable antimicrobial activity exhibited by their honey. Due to the cultural significance of the ants and challenges with rearing them at a commercial scale, it is not feasible to domesticate honeypot ants for honey production. However, honeypot ant honey may provide valuable insights for the development of useful new antimicrobial peptides. These may help expand our arsenal of effective antibacterial and antifungal treatments, which are increasingly needed to combat emerging challenges in healthcare. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for days more to come.